like what's going on guys it's me still lazy ryan once again with a brand new video as you can see in the boxes in front of you these are the 39 kilogram haul i was talking to you guys about and i had made a couple of posts on fashion reps and rep sneakers so without further ado let's get into the video shall we all right so guys here we are this is the whole lot that i have including my foam runners not foam runners sorry yeezy slides that i'm wearing right now so these are the adidas yeezys air jordan ones desert tours and all the other shoes stay tuned and i'll show you all the shoes that i have all right Doing the whole haul review in one video would be quite a lot. So therefore, I would split the haul into uh, different videos where in each video I will take about 5 pairs or 4 pairs and do the whole review for it. I hope you guys like it. Alright so guys, this would be the first episode of the 39kg haul so I would be doing the unboxing of these 4 shoes which are the Desert O's from Off-White, Rest in Peace Virgil, then we have got the Bread Toes, Edge on Ones, Travis Scott Dunks and Union LA's. So, let's start with the desert ores as these are my number one recommendation i got this from off-white factory you can see the quality on these they definitely look and feel quite premium also the tags and everything looks quite plush and also the suede on these are quite a thing like I personally liked it a lot and I hope you guys also must be uh, liking the way they look on the camera now coming to the QC standards as you can see I'm holding the shoes up close these have got quite a nice built quality to them also the air unit looks quite good I hope you guys can see it. The overall material on the sole feel quite sturdy. It comes with the Nike branding along with the zigzag and crossword sole. Coming to the swoosh, we have got the stitching, the iconic stitching from the off white along with a neoprene material slash that passes the swoosh in between coming to the back we have got again us covering the heel of the shoes the tongue as you can see has got a mesh like weaving to it along with the nike branding and has got the distressed look on it inside of the shoes there is the off-white logo and cushioning then again the exposed outlines coming to the middle side of the shoes we get the off-white branding as you can see which to be honest is quite centered and is not displaced as we have seen on any other budget reps then the tissue paper in this pair is the uh, classic off-white tissue paper it comes with a uh, off-white tag you guys can see over here yeah the foam on these has got a bluish tinge to it and it looks and feels quite sturdy also the pair comes with the stadium goods sticker and uh, extra set of orange neon laces along with the brown 
VT laces. This is the reference for the tissue paper that you get. It's a double tissue paper with a white and a designed off white tissue paper. Other than that, this is an inverse box with a silicone gel in it. So, moving to another shoes, we have got the Air Jordan 1 breads. So, as you can see, the Air Jordan breads, these are the LJR batch Air Jordan breads. These are in the size 8. As you can see, the basic UC would be to check the swoosh, which is uh, quite pointy and is pointing towards the third lace hole. There is no corner stitch flaw. The toe box looks nice and flat along with a nice curvature to it. Coming to the back side, as we can see there is a bit, uh, bit of hourglass going around which is nice. The stitching looks exactly what it should be. Then there is the Air Jordan logo, the wings logo which is pointing to the top lace hole coming also to the coming to the side of the shoes we can see that there is no corner stitching flaw along with a proper pointing of the swoosh coming to the front of the shoes we have got the coming to the front of the shoes we have got the toe box which has a nice tumbled effect to it and the holes are uniform with no certain ab abrasion to it checking the sole of the shoes we have got the classic Nike branding along with the Abercrombie pattern and the uh, boxy stitching along with the star pattern at the toe area for better grip. The box comes pre equipped with a tissue paper and extra set of pairs. We also get an extra set of laces which are in red color to match the uh, red toe box. Moving to the next shoes, we have the most infamous Travis Scott Dunks. So the Travis Scott Dunks, they come in two tissue paper. These are quite premium range. I got this from PK. These come with a black tissue paper and pre-wrapped in a white tissue paper. Moving that to a side, we get two extra set of laces. One is the pink and ash and another one is the plain black you can see over here and moving to the pair itself as you can see that the swoosh on the dunks are nicely placed with no stitching error and then I mean to the heel of the shoes we can see that it has got quite a nice curvature to it and the back feels quite thick the Nike embroidery is also on point along with the proper lettering coming to the lateral side of the shoes as you can see that the black swoosh on the pair has again a nice curvature to it and is quite pointy along with the suede material going on in here and also the laces are the rope laces which are not laced yet then the tongue for the matter of fact is quite thick as you can see it's a thick as per and the toe box has got quite a smooth touch to it as you can see the suede is off but I guess I would have to put it on with a suede brush. Also checking at the pattern. The pattern of the uh, shoes. It's supposedly a top tier badge. Therefore the pattern it's, is quite even. And is not um, mismatch. To the other side. Same the pattern doesn't look any more weird and it has got quite a nice continuity to it other than that the rest of the patterns for the denim is on point and it feels really premium on this hand like i don't know how you guys must be interpreting it but in hand it feels really premium moving on to the next shoes which are 
my one of the favorite shoes these are the Air Jordan 1 Unions black toes UA so starting out with the swoosh so the swoosh has na nice length to it it's not like the regular Air Jordan 1 where the swoosh is a bit smaller you can see in this one check the distance the swoosh is and is supposed to be a bit higher than the regular Air Jordan ones the stitching is quite uh, the stitching is quite uh, what you call randomized which is another sign that the shoes is well made because in the OG batches these are supposed to be uneven coming to the UNLA tag it's nice and centered with a small outline the Air Jordan logo which is pretty big comparison to other Air Jordan 1 logo and it's supposed to be like that and you can check in this pair this is this pair so yeah it's nice and embossed the R is touching to the D and also it should not point to any of the lace holes coming to the piping as you can see that it has got quite a, a leathery piping going on along with the tongue which is not pink at this point and then is a nike air logo with a cross pattern x stitching on the black and the cream color tongue coming to the toe box as you can see that the toe box has a nice tumble effect to it and it does come with a nice leather finish as you can see the leather feels super premium on touch and it even wrinkles as you touch the heel of the shoe is nice and uniform along with a nice hourglass pattern going along the top of the heel has got a suede finish the heel cup has a quite firm feel to it along with the midsole which has got a sail color outline which runs all across the shoes coming to the soles the sole has got the classic air jordan 1 logo along with the hybrid chrome pattern and the box boxy inch linings so all in all the shoe feels great the shoe comes along with a air jordan union tag and a special tissue paper which consists of all the diagrammatical directions of making the unions the another pair same as it is also the shoe comes with two set of extra laces one is the cream and black mono lace and another one is the bright yellow which would match with the piping of the shoes the insoles have their own design and look really nice so yeah guys the